Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back. It's been a couple days since my last upload. I've just been super busy with coaching badge stuff. I think actually are. there's a, the I think there's a tactics board right still <laughs> sitting behind me from what I've seen in the camera. But yeah, so today I'm kicking off a full weekend's worth of racing around the Red Bull Ring, formerly known as the A1 Ring. And I'm going to be recreating the Austrian Grand Prix here in Spielberg, or virtual Spielberg. Today I'm going to be racing in the Formula 2 category on F1. 2020 this is going to be the feature race then tomorrow switch over to r factor 2 run in the formula 3 and the porsche super cup then come back to f1 2020 run the sprint race in formula 2 and the actual f1 race itself in what is yeah pretty much a, a recreation of one of the only uh, well, one of the few races that did go ahead this year the last couple ones i've done have, have cancelled like monaco and bahrain and uh, uh melbourne so far this weekend pace has been pretty darn good around here in both the F2 and the Formula 1 categories. I've managed to qualify third alongside my teammate, which is by far and away the best qualifying session I've had in Formula 2 all season in what is this sort of career mode that I'm actually doing as well alongside this uh, recreation. I don't know what it is around here. I just managed to have really good pace. I'm not sure if the AI is just slower around here than everywhere else or we've managed to get better or I've managed to get better throughout the season. Now, strategy-wise, looks like it's going to be a one-stopper as per usual. We have the super soft tire available to us this weekend. Setup wise, I've just got a setup off of the Steam Workshop. Anyway, that's enough talk. Let's set off on this formation lap. 20 laps is the actual race distance itself. That was a terrible practice start. <laughs> yeah, this track is absolutely insane. I do love this track. It's sort of one of the last real F1 tracks. It's been on, well, it did have a break off the calendar for a while there, but has returned as the Red Bull Ring a couple years back. I mean, I remember this this track on F1 2000 by EA Sports. That's how, how long I've been playing sim racing games for, well, F1 sim racing games. Anyway, here we go. F2 Austrian Grand Prix feature race. Three wide going into there. We managed to actually get away with it. We're up in the second. All right, up the hill for the first time. Heavy braking zone. Block any move that's not going to be made. Oh, can't get him. Let him. Uh, can't get him. Let him get away. Good through the last sector, just struggle through this second sector here. Just going off of qualifying and practice. Not to mention of going from an F1 car to an F2 car to a <laughs> Porsche GT3 Cup car to then an F3 car is just ridiculous. Takes me a while to get up to speed again with the with the car. Oh, there's an apex over there somewhere. that last sector is going to hopefully be our saviour especially going into this first DRS zone up the hill alright head down let's see if we can chase down this leader two seconds already on the first lap too defensive there Long way to go though, 20 laps. I do love this track though, this is such an awesome track. This section here is just ridiculously quick. Oh, I fail. As you may have already noticed that I, 
I do not have strict corner cutting. I've got it set just to regular because I find that sometimes it can be a little bit too strict. But I'll try to drive as realistic <laughs> as I can. Anyway, we're going to get DRS here in a sec. I do have one of the slowest sort of speed traps of the whole field in in practice. So it would suggest that I have a lot more aero than the AI, which is probably why I'm better through that final sector where it's really important. Alright, now this is by no way an <laughs> easy pit entry, but I'll do my best. Let's go. Even the pit exit, to be fair, is quite <laughs> quite difficult. But it was clean. It wasn't overly quick, but it was clean. Didn't gain anything, but we didn't necessarily lose anything either. We've got to be careful on this tyre because it's going to have to go all the way to the end now. We've held under second. Question is, can we hold on to it for the next 12 laps? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> when you say it like that, it doesn't quite sound too promising. We just have no pace here right now. I don't know what it is. Fluctuating grip levels, this car is just ridiculous. Of course, this is, I think, I can't even remember how you pronounce his name. It's like Mahavir Rag Ragunathan. The absolute nutcase that. <laughs> was driving this thing last year I mean it's just how that guy even was allowed to drive in this series is beyond me it's just crazy that's why I chose this seat because I think it was the mo <laughs> most realistic seat that would be free this season 100% yeah, I just cannot get, get, get away from these guys behind me That was a good lap. Ah, oh, Something got stuck in my eye there. That was always such a pain in the ass when, like, someone in re in real life when you're racing and someone runs off in front of you and kicks up a bunch of dust or something, and just one of those little particles go in your eye, and all of a sudden you're like driving like this for like the next <laughs> three laps. Because it's not like you can just 
you know, stick your hand with a glove on underneath your helmet and try and get it out. amazing how much the braking zone changes and how much deeper you can go with the lower fuel load. Just noticed it then. I keep under braking going into the hairpin just based on each lap. You can really go quite a lot deeper. The funny thing about Formula 1 and Formula 2 is that even though you're wearing the tyres out, you actually are getting a much lighter car as you go along, so all of a sudden it feels like I was about to say, it feels like I'm getting more grip even though I'm going slower but it's the sheer drive off the corner that I'm lacking right now there I just can't sort of punch it and go but definitely got nothing for the leader but we're still pulling away from the cars behind which is positive all right on to the final lap of the race actually made some good inroads on the leader the leader over the last couple of laps so, it's so hard to concentrate and talk around here uh, it's been a pretty lacklustre race, to be honest. I mean, not much in terms of entertainment, but managed to keep my nose clean. And hopefully, barring any major fail, should be able to sneak onto the podium for the first time. This will be my first podium on F1 2020 full stop. No, I'm really, really loving this F2 car. It's the perfect sort of balance between Simcade and Sim Racing. Because these cars, if they were to make these cars ultra realistic, like iRacing level real well, with a realistic tire model, iRacing realistic, then it would be almost impossible to drive. Because in these cars you really have to feel everything. Not that I've driven one of these cars in real life, but I've driven cars with similar downforce and power levels. And you have to really feel everything underneath you. But anyway, second in the feature race. Yes! Come on. Finally. Finally finally in the points, let alone on the podium. Now we have some pace around here. Loving this Red Bull ring. Yeah, to be fair, we had absolutely nothing for the leader that entire race. We just... Struggled in the opening running, I definitely struggled on the super soft, but I think that little bit more aero, that little bit more front down force just saved the tyre, which is why we were able to sort of gap them in the middle of that second stint and get away and grab a podium result. Nikita Mazepin celebrating for ninth. Fair enough. Some, some of these F2 drivers have absolutely insane helmets. No battle, Matsushita! Woohoo! I'm loving the way F1. So the F1 games by Codemasters are getting this, I don't know, what. Uh, what's the word? It's not realistic, it's, ah, it'll come to me once I finish recording. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love Davide, he's so funny. Uh, let's have a look. So, that'll jump us up to 12th. Team standings, we should actually be... Yeah, because you can see Jordan King's off like 37 points ahead 
But yeah, no, what a result. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for more this weekend. We're going to jump into the F3 car tomorrow. That's going to be a load of fun. It's going to be quite different to this. And yeah, until then, catch you guys later.